Justin Kelly is going to be played in drop D tuning and then capoed on the second fret of the guitar. Uh, if you don't know what drop D tuning is, it's where you take your sixth string and you drop the pitch of it, you lower, you detune. So that it's the same note, it would just be an octave lower than what your fourth string is usually at, that D string. And then when we capo on the second fret, that still gives us the benefits of kind of like this open drop D feel, but then it is capoed on the second fret of the guitar, which technically puts it in the key of E. Okay, so the song itself, chord-wise, is pretty simple. Um, the most difficult thing about this song is the finger-picking pattern. The finger-picking pattern remains constant throughout the entire thing with your right hand, and it's going to be... It will be thumb, first, thumb, first, second fingers on your right hand. Thumb, first, thumb, first, second. And it will always be on strings 6, 5, 6, 5, 4. 6, 5, 6, 5, 4. But it's a lot quicker than just... It's... And it's really kind of difficult for me to get that in rhythm without my second finger trying to rush it a little bit too much. But... Thumb first, thumb first, second, thumb first, thumb first, second, six, five, six, five, four, six, five, six, five, four. So just keep that in mind through the entirety of what I'm showing you here because that's the picking pattern. All right, the opening chord is going to be a version of an E minor chord, I guess. We've got our second finger on the sixth string, two fret, and I'm speaking relative to the capos, so the capos, the nut now, so fret one, two. Second finger on the sixth string, two fret. Uh, ring finger on the five string, two fret. Um, and if I don't mention anything about the four string, like the four string remains open throughout this entire song, if I remember correctly, it does. So that open four is just ringing every single time. Your second finger is hitting an open four string on every chord. So it goes from that E chord to you take this shape and you just slide it up one, two, you slide it up three more frets so that your second finger is on the sixth string five fret and your ring finger is on the uh, five string five fret. After this, the next chord will be, so we're going to just lift up our second finger off of the fretboard and leave our ring finger where it was on the five string five fret. And we'll be plucking the open sixth string. In this chord, you can hear the ring finger lift off on the second time through. So it's like thumb first, thumb first, second, thumb first, thumb lift first, second. So that you get an open five string in there. That's what it is slowly. At speed, it would be like. And then the last chord, so this is the fourth chord, will be your second finger goes down on the sixth string relative seven fret. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And your ring finger is on the five string relative seven fret. All right, so that's the intro, and it re repeats that a couple times. Whenever we get into the lyrics, I think that it holds each one of these chords for twice as long as it does in the intro. So it would hold on that E minor. We slide up to the G. And then the D. And then up to this, I guess, as a relative B, I think. Or no, it's a relative A.
whenever you get through the verse, the chorus is going to be. What that is going to be is we're going to be playing a relative F sharp to a G to an A. The way that you're going to make that chord is first finger will be on the sixth string relative four fret, one, two, three, four. Your ring finger will be on the five string five fret, and you'll be going again six, five, six, five, four, thumb first, thumb first, second. Uh, you'll do that for one round, and then you'll go with your second finger to the six string five fret, leaving your ring finger where it is. And then we'll take this shape and slide it up two more frets to our A shape, or to our A chord here. And then it just repeats. And I think it does that like four times before eventually going back into the D chord, um, as in F sharp, G, A, and then immediately back into the E minor. To the G, which is we're going back into the intro chords again. And it's just a round of that uh, over and over. So the you've got the intro chords, which are the same as the verse chords, and then your um, chorus chords, which are like the F sharp to the G to the A, to the F sharp G A, F sharp G A, F sharp G A, D, and then E minor. So uh, that should give you an idea there. Those are the chords and the movements to Rubber by Rustin Kelly. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.